Hello Mass Attacks here and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to have a look at a battle from the Old Faithful. It is the T-8 Premium German Heavy Tank, the Lava. As always, before we get into the action, I'll show you my crew and equipment that I'm currently using on this tank. My crew on this tank, quite a good crew, all onto the fourth skill, the R from me motion. The equipment that I use in the special survivability slot is vents. Then I've got a gun rammer and a vertical stabilizer. So let's have a look at it in action. Today I'm playing on Ghost Town. It's a standard battle and we're all tier 8, so a good challenge for this tank. Now, I haven't played this tank for a very long time. The same as if you saw me video for the FV4202. I basically just brought this out of retirement because I had some times five missions for it. So I thought I'd get rid of them. Since I've been playing it again, I found this tank's really versatile. It's a good all rounder heavy tank and I have been really enjoying it again. With this tank, you do get a good solid gun on it. You also get quite good armor and a really good view range for a heavy tank, but the mobility lacks a little bit. But this tank would definitely go in me good category for tanks. So I've moved into the town. I've blocked a shot from a T-34 too. I'm just pulling back while I reload. If you hide the low plate on this tank, the rest of the armor is really good. So I'm gonna try and get a shot into that T-28 prototype. Oh. I don't know what the enemy Panzer 58 was doing there, but that was a free kill for us. Pulling back again as I reload. Back for that T28 prototype. Can't get a shot in because of our IS-3. If you've noticed, I am slightly angled. When you're engaging people, especially like this, you just dug in. You want to angle your tank, as you can see there, and you will bounce a lot more shots. The armour is holding up really well at the moment. Now I'm just checking what my team's doing. I've got a lot to the right of us holding the city. I am slightly concerned about the west. We've only got one tank over there. Just pulling back still. I'm a bit concerned about the west side of the map. I'm not sure what I can do. But if the enemy medium tanks make a push down there, we could be in trouble. We also haven't got no tank destroyer cover sitting on the top of the hill behind the bushes. So I've just taken a shot from the T-34 too. So I'm gonna make my way back into the town, get some cover from some of the buildings. And I'm gonna try and side scrape out. I'm sure there'll be some medium tanks over there. So I'm gonna try a few blind shots. And there is a Persian over there. Not sure if I was spotted there. Or if he's just blind fired back. He'll know the direction the shot come from. So I'll get another blind shot in. With this tank, you do get shells to waste. You do get to carry 80 shells, which is absolutely fantastic. There's another shot from the Persian. He's firing gold. I'd quite like to waste his gold for him. So I put another shot in. I am angled, so there's a good chance I'll bounce the shots. And my track absorb that shot. Another blind shot in. My team look like they're pushing just to the right of us. So I'm just going to try and hold this corner. If any of the enemy team try to push into the square and flank round me defender, me other heavy tanks, I will be able to cover them from this corner. That is my plan. So I'm just getting another couple of blind shots and it looks like there's a T28 prototype who's pushed into the square. Just wait until I've reloaded the shell. And there's the side of the T28 prototype and a nice shot into him. I'm getting a shot from the Persian, but I want to finish the T20 prototype off. Have I tracked him? Looks like I've tracked him in position, so I managed to get the second shot in. Our defender has died, so I'm just pulling back. I'm also concerned about the T34 too. I've blocked another shell from that Persian, a gold shell. But my CS53 is pushing up. I'm hoping he's going to spot that Persian because he's getting on my nerves. Just bounced another shot from him. Put a blind shot in. Is my CS53 going to push forward? I'm clicking on the minimap, trying to get his attention, see if he'll light this Persian up. It looks like we're struggling a little bit to the right of us. And they're finally taking out that T28 prototype. 
So that's leveled up the playing field. And there's that Persian. Is he on full health still? If he is, none of me blind shots is hit. But my CS53 is pushing forward. There is a U Des with that Persian, but he's out my range. Just shooting at the direction he's at. Hopefully it's hit. So I'm gonna peek forward again. Can I get the T-34 too? There's a TVP. Just gonna try and pull out a little bit. He's here as a one-shotter. Be nice to get another gun out of the game, and there it is. Taking them out. So I'm pushing forward so that T-34 too. Can I get a shot into us? And I might be able to get a shot into the UDES. Trying to support the CS-53. There's a Ferdinand with them as well. It's not looking good for me CS-53, which will be a big problem. Because the full west of the map has been lost now. T-34-2, nice snapshot into his turret. He has gotten a shot into me and damaged me ammo rack. So I've quickly repaired that. So I'm pulling back into cover because I will be lit at the moment. Quick blind shot as I angle my armour again. Now I'm not going to be able to stop in this position now that we've lost the west side. Stritzvan S1 telling us to retreat. Just pulling back a little bit. And I give him an affirmative, tell him I will pull back, blind shot, and now I'm going to move. What I want to do is pull round the back of me cap, maybe he's up the hill, see if I can stop the advance they're going to have on the west side, stop them from flanking us. And while I do that, I'll start telling you about this tank. I'll get onto the gun first. You do get a 105mm gun on this tank has 320 alpha damage but what's really good about it you get 234 millimeters of penetration on your standard shells which is really good with my crew and equipment i've got a reload time of 9.86 seconds which gives us a dbm of 1946 which isn't nothing special i do have an aim time of 2.61 seconds but my dispersion is 0.3 which is really good for a heavy tank and my shell velocity is 1150 meters per second which isn't too bad now i said near the beginning of the battle that one thing this tank does lack it's mobility so on the mobility front you do only get a 35 kilometers an hour top speed going forward but you do get 15 kilometers an hour in reverse which isn't too bad so if you are going to pull back like I did and then push up a hill, it will take you a while to get up that hill. So I've gotten to the top of the hill, support me Liberté that had the same idea I did. There is a Ferdinand in the field that he's been spotting. But if that T-34-2, it looks like sneaking round to where roughly I was, I'll be able to get sneaky shots into him. And he's a one-shotter, can I finish him? And that's him gone. Just pull him back in case I got spotted. Doesn't look like I did get spotted. Now this isn't a bad position for me in this situation. I'm not saying if you play in this tank, just camp at the back because you will get called lots of names. But I have got decent view range. There's a Ferdinand, lower plate. That was excellent. Just pull him back, I did get spotted then. So as I was saying about the view range, for a heavy tank, the view range is really good on this. Trying to get a shot into that Persian. I do want to take that Persian for firing all that gold at us. And what I was saying about the view range, with my crew and equipment, I do have 443 meters view range, which is just over the max 440. So that is really good, and that's without any coated optics or binoculars. Just bounced another shell of gold from that Persian. How much gold is he carrying in that? Has he got a full load out of gold? It'll cost him a lot of credits in this battle then. So I'm just turning around seeing what's happening in the city. Doesn't look like I can help there. Not sure if I can get a shot in there. So I'm just going to peek, see if anybody else is pushing to support the Persian. There's that Ferdinand again. Bottom plate. And the accuracy is fantastic on this tank. Managed to take him out. Our Liberty is pushing for the Persian. I'd like to take the Persian. Liberty is taking him for us. Just happy he's out of the game. That'll teach him for firing all that gold. So peeking in the town. If that 53 TP pulls back the way I'm aiming, I think I might be able to get him. We've just lost another tank. That's not good. You, Des. Where is he? I know he'll be over there somewhere. 
So I'm just looking into the town, see if I can support. I'd like to take that 53TP out for me teammates that's in the town. I'm a bit wary about moving at the moment. I'm not sure where that Udez is. He has got an excellent camo rating. He'll spot me before I spot him. Is he in them bushes? If he's in them bushes and I start pulling into the town, down the hill and then cutting into the town, he will take us. And I've just fired a blind shot into a bush I thought he might be in. And sure enough, he was in. So I've taken out the Udez. That was fortunate. Just type an LOL into the chat. Not sure if me liberty saw us do that. So now I can move. I don't have to worry about the west side. There still is a Stritzvan S1. Not sure where he is. He hasn't been spotted in this match. We've lost all our tanks in the east. So I am suspecting that he'll be camping somewhere like E9, E0. So I'm going to pull back into the town. Help me teammates that's holding off the 53TP and the IS-3. Now as I head into the town, I will tell you about the armour on this tank. On the hull, you get 150mm on the front, 100mm on the side, 80mm on the rear, which is quite effective if you angle yourself. And then the turret armour, there's our 53TP, and I fluffed the shot. As I was saying about the turret armour, you get 120mm on the front, that doesn't sound anything special, but it is rounded. And then you get 80mm on the side of the turret and rear, but it is a round turret, so you will bounce plenty of shots off that. So I'm trying to flank round the back of the 53TP. I am a bit wary where the IS-3 is, don't want to pull round and him just sitting there. Just going to try and peek round this corner, use that dead tank as cover. Now the IS-3 was there, he's getting a shot into us. So I've made sure I've getting a shot back into him. In them situations, I've seen it a lot in the game. Somebody will take a shot and then they'll pull back because they've been hit. And what you really want to be doing, if you've taken a shot, you want to get in and trade a shot with them. At least get some damage into them and then you can pull back. Now I'll push forward, 53TP, and finally finished them off. Now it looks like the IS-3 is pushing forward to try and get a shot into me. But I've just pushed towards these houses so he couldn't do that. Not sure if I want a peek. Is he looking for me? Peek round, he's not looking at me. And there's one shot into him. He is just a one shotter now. So we'll pull him back. Now I've noticed on the minimap the S1 has been spotted on the east side in the field next to the ships. So I don't have to worry about him being on the top of the hill. So what I want to do is flank round the back of the IS-3. He might be suspecting that I'm going to do that. Looks like he's peeking the corner up that street. So what I want to do is pull round the bottom of the street. I'm hoping that some of my teammates, the Tiger 2, maybe he's pushed us through, keeps him occupied. Doesn't look like he's doing that though. So I flanked right round the bottom of the town. Is the IS-3 going to be looking this way or will I surprise him? Surely you'll not expect us pulling around here, and he's not here. I'm wondering if he's pushed to try and stop us flanking him. Go up the street, there he is, and got the shot in and finished him off. Now the s wads facing our Libertier, the far corner, and there's the two minute warning. What I want to do now is, there's only two minutes left, so I'm going to start the cap. You do need a minute 40. Can I get in the cap in time? Oh, it's going to be a struggle. I'm not sure whether I'll be able to do this. We've lost the Liberty. I really need to get in this cap. I haven't gotten in in time. I need the Tiger 2 to come with us if we're going to cap. But if we start the cap, it makes the S1 come to us. Now our teammates are putting in the chat, telling us to cap. We do need a cap. That Tiger 2, he might spot the S1 for us, but I'm six seconds short of being able to cap the game. I'm not a big fan of capping the game, but if I head for that S1, he will outspot us and he'll take us out in one shot. So I don't want to take that risk. I'm just hoping this Tiger 2 comes to help us with the cap. I do need another six seconds to cap this base. If another tank comes into the cap circle, then it does speed it up. He does need to get a move on to help us cap this out. We are into the last minute now. It does look like he's heading towards the cap to help us. 
He has got enough hit points to take two shots from that S1. So if that S1 is heading back and spots him, gets one shot in, he'll still survive and hopefully get in the cap. I'm just pulling back so he can get in the front of the cap quicker rather than drive round the side of us. Surely that S1 is heading back to the cap. I'm gonna try and reset it. Rather than just trying to survive the battle, I have noticed some people like to do that. Now the Tiger 2's made it, only 10 seconds, 8 seconds, 7 seconds, where's the S1? Is he going to appear in the last second? 2 seconds, 1 second, 0, and we've capped out. The S1's actually went to our base, so he's threw that away. Let's have a quick look at the stats. Was a class 1 badge. We've got the steel wall, which you've got to receive the most hits, at least 11 of any other player on your team, with potential damage of at least 1,000 hit points and survive. We bounce 1,940 potential damage. We've got the invader medal, which you've got to get at least 80 capture points. And the top gun for our 7 kills. Top of the tray for XP with a BSXP of 1,345. Top for damage with 2,942 damage in. We made 110,000 credits, that's due to a personal reserve bonus, and 19,373 XP, that's due to playing a premium vehicle, a personal mission payout, and a personal reserve bonus. I'd like to thank you for watching today's battle, especially since it was a long one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. There's a little icon in the bottom right hand corner. And if you have any feedback, please could you leave it via the thumbs buttons in the comment section below. Cheers.